it's Catherine and I'm here today with a review for Sneaking Candy by Lisa Bernstein. So this is a book that I got in an advanced reader form through an e-galley through NetGalley. So if you don't want to know what NetGalley is, it helps if I can speak during these reviews, um, it's a website that publishing companies use to send out their e-galleys into the world to bloggers and other reviewers and people in exchange for a free and honest review. It is awesome. I can leave a link down there so that you can check it out yourself and you can sign up and if they accept you then you can start requesting books too like this one. So the long and short of this book is is that we have a graduate student named Candace Salinas and she's at a university in Miami and she is working through her graduate program as an RA for one of her literary professors. I believe it's actually like a writing professor. And she wants to make it big as a writer. However, ah, there's a catch. She already has made it big as a writer. She has self-published her books on Amazon. And they are these smutty, steamy, awesome romance books that we all know and love from Amazon and other places. But she doesn't want anyone to know. And she really doesn't want her professor to know because he thinks, oh, and let me try and remember exactly how he put it. But he thinks that all of those self-published romance writers are like filthy book whores or something. I, I can't remember the exact quote, but I read it and my jaw just dropped and I was like, oh, no, he didn't. Wow. Wow. But anyways. So on top of all of this, because if that's not bad enough, her professor kind of has a thing for her and she kind of has a little thing for him because he's young and attractive. But enter in Prodigy Boy, who is a new student and a love interest. And of course, everything just spirals out of control and there's teacher student relations and inappropriate things that are going on with these teacher student relations and well not really inappropriate but inappropriate if you know what I mean things that are going on with student teachers and then there's a whole self-published author thing which I loved I love the fact that we are as bloggers because not all of us are writers but we're able to see it from the author's perspective, especially for someone who self-publishes, and then what comes with that and exactly what they can feel and experience because it goes through and it it actually mentions Goodreads, which was awesome. Major thumb up for Goodreads. Um, but it shows, you know, what authors go through when they sometimes stupidly check their reviews and dealing with that. But then also the fantastic fantastic side of it and your your readers and your huge fans and the people whose lives you change so it's great in that way you get to experience kind of like both sides of it so I really liked this book the author was fantastic this was a great new adult book uh, new adult being that the main characters were pretty much between the ages of like you know 18 and 25 ish that span of life pretty much like college bound years and there you have it um but yeah it was really well written I was a little tentative going into it but I was pretty well blown away um I loved the characters I loved how it was written I loved the realness and the rawness to it you know with um having this huge secret that was being a self-published author while also wanting to be a you know respected author um and making it big in the real literary world um but it also then shows the positive side of self-publishing and how it really is up and coming and it's how a lot of people are coming to become famous if that makes sense anyways but yes awesome uh, the characters were great. I loved Candace. She had like this split personality thing going on where it was like her as Candace, but then her as her uh, counterpart, you know, pen name, I believe it was Candy Sloan. I think Sloan was the last name, but Candy. So she's like sometimes referring to herself in the third person, but not really the third person because it's her alternate 
personality in the sex pot, you know, romance self-publish thing. Yeah. <laughs> it was just funny. And her and her roommate had an ongoing joke about it because her roommate's name was Amanda. And so she became Mandy in these, you know, little sexy escapades uh, that did not happen together, but that they talked about. <laughs> Um, and then you have, of course, the dickwad of a professor who definitely does come off as pretty smoking hot. And I wish, I wish I had literary professors that were that good looking in university. Uh, I might have paid it a little more attention in class. Yeah. Yeah. But probably, you know, a good thing because sometimes it doesn't end well. Um, and then, of course, you have the love interest, James. And... Oh boy, do I wish I had more of him in my life, if you know what I'm talking about. I mean, he is a total bookworm who can quote the classics, but rides a motorcycle. Although, his chai latte stinks, so where's the give? There's the give. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, basically, it was a good book. I really liked it. I enjoyed it greatly, you might say, and I definitely want to check out more from this author because I was really impressed with it, um, and especially from the writer aspect of the main character, you're not seeing a lot of that. It's kind of like you have, um, what is it, the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout, the one about the aliens, and the main character in that book is a blogger, so there's like that instant connect because there's... There's insider information sharing going on that some people might not get because, yeah, that's how we roll in the book world. Uh-huh. Anyways, that is it for me, guys. If you think you might like this book, go and check it out because I believe it is already published. I believe it's on Amazon. I don't believe it's too expensive. I can definitely put the actual price like here, you know, so you have a reference to go from. And yeah, until next time, happy reading, guys. Bye.